Mass displacement in Sudan, I mean, don't go in for, is disrupting crucial day-to-day -day supplies of cooking oil, mineral water, and health products. Now, the demand for basic goods in the country has surged even further following the destruction of Khartoum's main factories, which created a huge market for imports. Now, trade routes have been blocked since mid april because of the conflict and that resulted in the scarcity of commodities. Now, let's have more details of that in this report. A new market has opened up across Sudan for goods from outside the country. Supermarket shelves are now filled with products from Ethiopia and Egypt, filling a gap Sudan itself can't fill. Trade with neighboring countries is very useful. Most of it is goods which used to be manufactured in Khartoum, including oil, flour and soft drinks. This new trade has achieved an abundance of supply and the market has no shortage of any of these goods. Trade routes have been blocked since mid-April because of the conflict and that resulted in a scarcity of commodities. Most of the goods imported from neighboring countries do not feed this market alone, but extend to other states across Sudan. Goods come in large quantities to fill the gap caused by the destruction of the factories in Khartoum. Khartoum was a business hub for all industries and sectors across the country. Sudan's main industrial centers were close to the capital itself, areas which are now battlegrounds. The market stopped after April's war and all trade routes were blocked. Now the market is flourishing and we also trade in other states. It's a new chance. Sudan's conflict has entered its third month without any signs of ending soon. Experts believe that border trade will continue to increase and reliance on imported goods will remain if the war in Sudan prolonged. Naba Muhyiddin, CGTN, Al Jazeera State, Sudan.